Find your name on the list or type it in. Then choose... Hmm, which book should we read first? Our books! Now what'll we do? Look, it's the story of King Midas. And I have the Ugly Duckling. You can help Sam and me. Click on the book you want to read. Ugly Duckling. Click on the character you want to tell the story. Rawr. Thanks for choosing me, Sam the Lion. Let me tell you the story of the Ugly Duckling. Click here if you want me to read the story. Click here and we can read the story together. Let's read the story together. Here are some of the special words in this story. Duckling, ugly, pecked, swan, winter, beautiful, egg, pond. I think my egg has grown. Oh well. It was a beautiful morning in the country. Mother Duck sat on her eggs. The day grew warm and the eggs began to hatch. One by one, little ducklings came out. Only one egg was left. It was much bigger than the others. Will this strange egg ever hatch? thought Mother Duck. Finally, it did. That's a beautiful egg. When's it going to hatch? I don't know. Now please, let me get back to my work. How do I get out of this thing? Oh, how beautiful. Oh, how beautiful! Will this strange egg ever hatch? I'm here! Ta-da! Oh my! said Mother Duck to her newest duckling. You are odd-looking! I wonder if you are a turkey chick. Still, I love you. The other ducklings were not so kind. Say, you're sort of ugly, they said. Hush, said Mother Duck. Let's go swimming. You are odd looking. I wonder if you're a turkey chick. Still, I love you. He's so big. Like the giant from Jack and the Beanstalk. I'm so happy to be with my family. Mummy, is he one of us? I think so. Honk, he's heavier than a duck. I think he's beautiful. Of course, he could use a few more warts. Like me. Hush! Now let's go swimming. Splish! Splash! One by one, 
The ducklings jumped into the pond. I can swim, said the ugly duckling. Then you aren't a turkey chick, said Mother Duck. Turkeys can't swim. He swims better than we do, sniffed the other ducklings. They didn't like that one bit. I can swim. He swims faster than we do. Quack, 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 honk. Mother Duck took her children to the farmyard. Mind your manners, she said. The animals in the farmyard were very rude. They fought over a fish. They stared at the ugly duckling. You're ugly, they said. They pecked and pecked at him. I'm leaving, said the ugly duckling. Ouch! I don't think I fit in here at all. Don't say that. You'll do fine. I would like to introduce my babies to you. What beautiful chicks. Except for the funny-looking one. All your ducks are so handsome. Do you really think so? Oh, but the big ugly one. I'm leaving. Hello, I'm Mr. Croak. Hi, my name is Quill. The ugly duckling walked along a country road. No one wants to play, he thought sadly. I don't understand. I know I'm strange looking, but I'm nice. And I would be a good friend. He walked on and on. He didn't know where he was going. So, where are you going? Any place where someone will play with me. Oh, someone will play with you. Just keep trying. Here's some friendly looking birds. I'll be back later. The ugly duckling met two wild birds. How odd looking you are, said the birds. Just then, a hunting dog appeared. He chased the wild birds and they flew away. Then he sniffed the ugly duckling. Ugh, you're not the kind of bird I'm looking for, the dog said. So the ugly duckling was alone again. How odd looking you are! Still, you seem nice. Come join us. You want to play with me? <laughs> Come along with us! We're going to meet up with the rest of our friends and family. They won't be like you, but you're welcome to come. Great! I can hardly wait. Honk.
Aren't you going to eat me? You're too small. There's no meat on you. What luck! I bet you'll find someone to play with you in there. You can stay for a while, but only if you can lay eggs. The ugly duckling came to a hut. The hen who lived there laid beautiful eggs. The cat made bright sparks fly from his fur. The animals asked the ugly duckling what he could do. I can swim, said the ugly duckling. That's nothing special, said the hen. So the ugly duckling went off to find a pond. The woman was nice to let me stay here. Hey, ask him if he can arch his back like this. Well, can you? I don't think so. Welcome to our world. Your world? I... I don't seem to belong here either. I'm leaving. What beautiful birds! I'll never be like them. The ugly duckling swam in the pond. A group of wild white swans flew over his head. What beautiful birds! cried the ugly duckling. I could never be like them! The swans didn't hear him. They were busy flying south for the winter. It grew colder and colder. Winter came. Hey, I thought we found a home for you. I can't spark or lay eggs, so nobody wants me. Just be patient. You'll see. What am I going to do? It's getting so cold. The ugly duckling was trapped in the ice. Snow covered the ground. I'm cold, he thought. Will I be trapped here forever? Finally, a farmer came by. You poor little duck, he said. I'll get you out. I'll take you home to my wife and children. Open your bill, Quill. Just give me one little quack. Hey, 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 you, you, I'm, I'm talking to you. Right there, I'm talking to you. Have you seen a duck around here? I wonder where that duckling is. Ooh. <laughs> It's a duck. Where? I'll bring you home and warm you by the fire. The farmer brought the ugly duckling into his house. Two noisy children ran up. Play with us, 
Play with us, they shouted. The ugly duckling was scared. He flew into a milk bucket. He flew into a barrel of butter. Catch him, shouted the farmer's wife. The frightened bird flew out the door. Hey, look who I found. A little ugly duckling. Wow, let's play with him. Oh no, now I have to milk the cow again? Oh no, not the butter! Goodbye and good luck! Uh, excuse me, excuse me! Uh, anybody seen a duckling with big sad eyes and gray feathers? Nope, not in here. Maybe he's in there. No, not my butter. Ugh, what is this slimy stuff? Well, sorry to bother you. I guess I'll be on my way. Hey, look who I found. A little ugly duckling. Wow, let's play with him. At last it was spring. The ugly duckling swam in the pond. I'm lonely, he thought. Just then he saw some swans. I wonder if they would be my friends. But I'm so odd-looking, and they're so beautiful. I've been pecked, and I've been chased. It can't get any worse, so I might as well say hello. On. <laughs> I think they'll like you. Look at those beautiful birds. I'm so lonely. I wonder if they'll be my friends. I know I'm ugly, but please don't make fun of me. <laughs> Well, if you're ugly, then so are we. When the swans saw the ugly duckling, they rushed over. The ugly duckling was scared. Don't peck me, he said. He bowed his head. The pond was as smooth and clear as a mirror. And in that mirror, a beautiful swan looked up at him. I'm a swan! He cried joyfully. Just look at yourself in the reflection of the water. I'm afraid to. I might scare myself. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here and be with us. No, you don't want me. Just look at yourself in the reflection of the water. I'm afraid to. I might scare myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're not ugly. I'm ugly. I'm leaving now. Don't leave. Wait. You can fly with us anytime. I can? Really? Are you kidding? Are you serious? Of course! <laughs> <laughs> You're not ugly. I'm ugly. I'm leaving now. Don't leave! Wait! I'm a swan!
swan! We're glad that you're here, said the other swans. Stay with us always. I would love to, said the ugly duckling. A family came to picnic nearby. What a beautiful swan, they said. The ugly duckling didn't say a word. He just stretched his neck and fluttered his wings in pure happiness. I never dreamed of so much happiness. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a beautiful swan! Yeah! And he lived happily ever after. The end. on one of these buttons to play an activity or read a story. Okay, let's match and order things from the story. Coming through! Not again! Oh, my story map is a mess! You can help read a rabbit. Click on Story Match to match words and pictures. Click on Story Order to put events in the right order. Okay. Let's match words to pictures from the story. Mean animal. Mean animal. <laughs> Beady eyes. Beady eyes. Good swimmer. Good swimmer. Squished peas. Squished peas. Little ducklings, little ducklings. All right! Now all the words match the pictures, so I can read my story map. Yay! Good job! Time for a party! Click on me and you can play again. All right! Coming through! Not again! Oh, my story! Oh, peas! Peas! Swans! Swans! Eggs! Eggs! Boy! Boy! Legs! Legs! All right! Now all the words match the pictures, so I can read my story map. Time for a party! Click on me and you can play again. All right! Wings! Wings! Home! Home! Duck, duck. Bucket, bucket. Quill, quill. Thanks! Now all the words match the pictures, so I can read my story map. You did it! Time for a party! Click on me, and you're all right! Coming through! Not a... Okay, let's put everything in order.
Mother duck sat on her eggs. Mother duck sat on her eggs. The ugly duckling came to a hut. Wild swans flew over the ugly duckling's head. The ugly duckling met two wild birds. Should we invite him over? Wild, wild swans flew over the ugly duckling's head. The farmer took the ugly duckling to his house. I'll bring you home and warm you by the fire. Yeah, you did it! Now everything is in order, so I can read my story map. Good job! Time for a party! Click on me? All right! Okay, let's put everything in order. The ugly duckling lived happily with the swans. The ugly duckling lived happily with the swans. All the eggs hatched except one. All the eggs hatched except one. The duck family, the duck family went swimming. The animals, the animals in the farmyard pecked at the ugly duckling. The ugly duckling was trapped in the ice. All right! Now everything is in order, so I can read my story map. All right! Time for a party! Click on me? All right! Okay, let's put everything in order. The ugly duckling, the ugly duckling lived happily with the swans. Mother, mother duck sat on her eggs. The ugly duckling came to a hut. The other, the others called the big chick sort of. Ugly. You're sort of ugly. The ugly duckling met two wild birds. Should we invite him over? Thanks. Now everything is in order, so I can read my story map. You did it! <laughs> Time for a party! <laughs> And you can play the map game again. <laughs> Click on one of these buttons to play an activity. Okay. When you are ready to read The Ugly Duckling. Click on the character you want to tell. Hi. Thanks for picking me. Here. Look at this. That's me. Don't you think I was cute? Well. Not everybody thought so. Let me tell you my story. Click here if you want me to read the story. I'll read the story. I think my egg has grown. Oh well. My name is Quill. Do you know what a quill is? It's a big, strong feather. My mother named me Quill because I'm big and full of feathers. My egg was the biggest one in the nest. I couldn't wait to get out of my egg. How do I get out of this thing? I hope the world out there 
is as nice as it is in here. Finally, I cracked it open. I'm here! Ta-da! I knew right away that I looked different from my brother and sister. It didn't matter to me. I'm so happy to be with my family. Mommy, is he one of us? I think so. But then they started being mean to me. Want to play with me? Um, maybe later, but thanks anyway. Doesn't anyone want to play with me? It's because you're ugly. You're sort of ugly, they said. Ugly? I had feathers. I had a beak. I had a tail that waggled when I walked. What more did I need? Hush! Now let's go swimming. I went to the pond with my family. Swimming was lots of fun. I can swim! Then, my brother and sister said I quacked louder than a duck. They said I swam faster than a duck. He swims faster than we do. I almost felt like I wasn't a duck. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Honk. <laughs> I went to the farmyard with my family. That place was wild. Huge ducks fought over fish heads. A cat ran across the yard. The animals said I was ugly. That hurt my feelings. All your ducks are so handsome. Do you really think so? Oh, but the big ugly one. They pecked me, and that hurt my body. Ouch! I could have pecked them back. But I knew that fighting wasn't right, so I left instead. I'm leaving. Hello, I'm Mr. Croak. Hi, my name is Quill. I walked along sadly. I'm tired of being different. I'm tired of being ugly, I thought. Hello, cried a warty toad. I'm Mr. Croak. Where are you going? I'll go wherever someone will play with me, I said, without pecking me. So, where are you going? Any place where someone will play with me. Or well, someone will play with you. Just keep trying. The toad was nice, and he tried to cheer me up. Here's some friendly looking birds. I'll be back later. I met two wild birds. Maybe they would be my friends. How odd looking you are, they told me. How odd looking you are! Still, you seem nice. Come join us. You want to play with me? Come along with us. We're going to meet up with the rest of our friends and family. They won't be like you. 
But you're welcome to come. Great! I can hardly wait. Honk. Just then, a hunting dog appeared. He chased the birds, and they flew away. Then, the dog sniffed me. Ah, <coughs> uh, you're not the kind of bird I'm looking for, he said. <coughs> Aren't you going to eat me? You're too small. There's no meat on you. So, how'd it go? Things will get better, you'll see. Sometimes, it just takes a while. No one wants me, I thought sadly. What luck! I bet you'll find someone to play with you in there. You can stay for a while, but only if you can lay eggs. Mr. Croak and I came to a hut. There was a cat who made sparks fly from his fur. There was a hen who laid beautiful eggs. Welcome to our world. Your world? I... The animals thought I should make sparks and lay eggs, too. Make sparks? Lay eggs? I couldn't lay eggs. And my feathers could catch on fire. I left to find a pond. I don't seem to belong here, either. I'm leaving. What beautiful birds! I'll never be like them. <gasps> Swimming alone is fun for a day. It's fun for a week. But after a while, swimming alone gets really boring. One day, I saw a group of swans flying overhead. Those swans were so beautiful, it made me shiver. What am I going to do? It's getting so cold. Or maybe it was the cold weather. Winter was coming fast. Being frozen in a pond is even worse than swimming alone. But you have plenty of time to think. I thought about lots of things. Why was I so different? Why did some people think I was ugly? Why did it matter how I looked? Why didn't Mr. Croak no, he was leaning on me. Finally, I was rescued by a farmer. It's a duck. Where? I'll bring you home and warm you by the fire. The farmer took me to his home. Hey, look who I found. A little ugly duckling. What? Let's play with him. I was happy. The house was warm and snug. But I wasn't used to being around people. Talk about being different. People are so big. They talk too loud. And they move too fast. I was so scared. I splashed into the milk, I fell into the butter, and I flew out the door.
Now I have to milk the cow again? Oh no! Not the butter! Goodbye and good luck! I thought spring would never come. When it did, I honked for joy. I felt different somehow. I felt big and strong and full of life. Some beautiful swans heard me honking. They flew down to the pond. Look at those beautiful birds. I'm so lonely. I wanted to say hello, but I was afraid. Go on. <laughs> I think they'll like you. They look like you. Go over and say hello. No, I don't think so. Go out there. Boy, are you in for a big <laughs> surprise. Take a chance, said Mr. Croak. So I did. I know I'm ugly, but please don't make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're ugly, then so are we. I swam out to the swans. They seemed nice, but I was still afraid they might peck me. You're not ugly. I'm ugly. I'm leaving now. Don't leave! Wait! Just look at yourself in the reflection of the water. I'm afraid to. I might scare myself. <laughs> I looked down. The pond was like a mirror. I couldn't believe my eyes. I'm a swan, I cried. No wonder I didn't look like the other ducklings. But how did a swan egg get into a duck nest? I guess I'll never know. <laughs> A swan! Being beautiful made some feel different about me. But in a lot of ways, I was just the same. I still had feathers, and I still had a beak. I still had a tail that waggled when I walked. Most of all, I was still the same inside. I was Quill. I never dreamed of so much happiness. I know one thing. I will never call anybody ugly. Everybody looks different. And I'm glad. And he lived happily ever after. The End The end. Click on one of these buttons to play an activity or read a story. All right! Let's write a letter. Okay, let's write quack like a duck. <coughs> Act like a pig. <coughs> Oink! <coughs> ah. Fly places. If since the ocean 
Dear Mother Duck, You like to teach your ducklings to quack like a duck. It would be funny if you taught them to act like a pig. I would like to see a duck oink. If I were a duck, I would fly places all day. Sincerely, Sam. P.S. If you have more ducklings, you should move to the ocean. Speedy Snail here. Got anything to mail? Oh, I don't know. This could take a while. Special delivery for Sam from Mother Duck. Dear Sam, my ducklings are easy to teach, and they do many things very well. I'm sure they can learn to act like a pig, and they would like it, I can tell. First they could oink, and then they could snort. That is the way that pigs talk. The hard part might be learning how not to waddle when they walk. Quack, quack, mother duck. Adios. <coughs> Look. Okay, happy. Did a snake talk? Was a good friend. Kiss. P.S. Dear Mother Duck, did you feel happy? When you saw the big egg, at least there wasn't a snake inside the egg. It would be hard for a baby snake to talk with you. I bet you were proud that Quill was a good friend. Rawr! Sam. P.S. The next time you see a big egg, kiss it. Dear Sam, you're right. It would be hard to have a snake for a baby, because I wouldn't be able to understand it. A hiss is different from a quack. How would I know if it was hungry or scared? How could I teach it to waddle or swim? Maybe if we all spoke the same language, I could have all kinds of animals for babies. But for now, I'll just raise my ducks. Quack, quack, mother duck. I'll be back. Tired. <gasps> An alligator. <coughs> Eyes. <coughs> and had strong wings. <coughs> you sing to. <coughs> Dear Mother Duck. Did you feel tired when you saw the big egg? At least there wasn't an alligator inside the egg. An alligator's eyes would scare your ducklings. I bet you were proud that Quill had strong wings. Your friend, Sam. P.S. The next time you see a big egg, sing to it. Dear Sam, thank you for your letter. You are most certainly right. I am very glad that I didn't hatch an alligator. I hate to think of what might happen if an alligator yawned when my ducklings were near him. They might fall in his mouth. Right again. Quack, quack. Mother duck. Toodaloo! Okay. Swim like a duck. You act like a monkey. <laughs> Swing in the trees. <laughs> I would sleep <laughs> if you the ocean. Dear Mother Duck, you like to teach your ducklings to swim like a duck. It would be funny if you taught them to act like a monkey. I would like to see a duck swing in the trees. If I were a duck, I would sleep all day. Your pal, Sam. P.S. 
If you have more ducklings, you should move to the ocean. Dear Sam, oh dear, it would be funny to see my ducklings act like a monkey. They might go ape over the idea. I hope that they wouldn't monkey around too much. Don't forget to write again. Quack, quack, Mother Duck. Adio. Okay, curious. Did a dinosaur <laughs> eaten? Could swim well. Your paint. Dear Mother Duck, did you feel curious when you saw the big egg? At least there wasn't a dinosaur inside the egg. A baby dinosaur might have eaten your family. I bet you were proud that Quill could swim well. Your pal. Sam. P.S. The next time you see a big egg, paint it. Dear Sam, have you ever seen a dinosaur egg? Why, it's almost as big as I am. If I had to sit on a dinosaur egg to make it hatch, I would fall right off. I'm glad my eggs have baby chicks, not baby dinosaurs inside. Quack, quack, mother duck. I'll be back a Okay, let's write to Mother Duck. Quack like a duck. <laughs> Act like a pig. <laughs> Roll in the mud. Eat. Your friend, a bigger nest. P. Dear Mother Duck, you like to teach your ducklings to quack like a duck. It would be funny if you taught them to act like a pig. I would like to see a duck roll in the mud. If I were a duck, I would eat all day. Your friend, Sam. P.S. If you have more ducklings, you should move to a bigger nest. Dear Sam, it would be funny to see my ducklings act like pigs. If I did show them how to roll in the mud, I would also make sure to teach them to wipe off their feet before coming into our clean nest. Quack, quack, Mother Duck. Adio. Okay. Let's write to Mother Duck. Swim like a duck. You act like a clown. Wear funny costumes. Splash around. If you're a skyscraper. Dear Mother Duck, you like to teach your ducklings to swim like a duck. It would be funny if you taught them to act like a clown. Would you let your ducklings wear funny costumes? If I were a duck, I would splash around all day. Your pal, Sam. P.S. If you have more ducklings, you should move to a skyscraper. Dear Sam, you think I should teach my ducklings to act like clowns? A clown's red nose would stick on their beaks quite nicely. I hope that I could tell them apart after they had put on their costumes and makeup. Quack, quack, Mother Duck. I'll be back. Okay. Scared. Okay, talk. I met a scary dog. Throw a bone.
One thing. Love. Climb trees. Dear Mr. Croak, I know you and Quill like to talk together. What do you think would happen if you both met a scary dog? One thing you might do is throw a bone. Love, Sam. P.S. Sometimes I like to climb trees with a good friend. Dear Sam, what would we do if we met a scary dog? Well. You can bet that we would get out of that dog's way fast. Of course, we would still stay very cool. Maybe if I croaked very loudly, I could scare him away. Your friend, Mr. Croak. I'll be back. A Croak a tune. If jumping on lily pads. Missed. Exciting. From webbed feet. Dear Mr. Croak, if I were a toad today, I would croak a tune. Have you always liked jumping on lily pads? Have you ever tried to jump on a lily pad and missed? Sometimes it must be exciting to be a toad. From Sam. P.S. I think your webbed feet make you beautiful. Dear Sam. Well, you know that I love jumping. And you know I love to hop. Because when my feet start thumping, sometimes they just won't stop. My little luncheon pad gets me around I've got the coolest lily pad in town Your friend, Mr. Croak I'll be back Try to catch flies <laughs> If eating flies Dragonflies. Tiring. Your friend. Beady eyes. Dear Mr. Croak, if I were a toad today, I would try to catch flies. Have you always liked eating flies? Maybe you would like to eat dragonflies. Sometimes it must be tiring to be a toad. Your friend, Sam. P.S. I think your beady eyes make you beautiful. Dear Sam. When a fly goes by, Oh, me, oh, my, I have to stop and grab it. I'm a toad, you see, so don't blame me. It's just my natural habit. Your friend, Mr. Croak. Adios. Oak Walk. I played leapfrog. What? A neighbor's lily pad. From Make Mud Pies. Dear Mr. Croak, I know you and Quill like to walk together. What do you think would happen if you both played leapfrog? Do you think you could leapfrog all the way to a neighbor's lily pad? From Sam. P.S. Sometimes I like to make mud pies with a good friend. Dear Sam, Quill and I would love to play some leapfrog. If we could make up the game we play. Swans and toads love to play together. But we don't move in the same way We're always leaping and flying 
That's the way we get around Yes, we're flying and leaping That's the way we get off the ground Your friend, Mr. Croak I'll be back a little Okay, let's write to hop up and down <laughs> Having warts? Have teeth relaxing <laughs> strong legs dear mr croak if i were a toad today i would hop up and down have you always liked having warts i bet i have as many teeth as you have warts. Sometimes it must be relaxing to be a toad. Rawr. Sam. P.S. I think your strong legs make you beautiful. Dear Sam, do you know what? I have always loved having warts. You can't see all of my warts very well, but I sure have lots of them. Some people might think that warts are ugly. Not me. My wart speckles are like beautiful freckles. Your friend, Mr. Croak. Toodaloo! Okay, play. I got lost. Your toothbrush. Your climb trees. Dear Mr. Croak, I know you and Quill like to play together. What do you think would happen if you both got lost? If you got lost, I hope that you'd remember your toothbrush. Your pal, Sam. P.S. Sometimes I like to climb trees with a good friend. <laughs> Dear Sam, if Quill and I were lost, I'm sure we'd be okay. If the road we chose was wrong, we'd get home another way. If swans can fly, then so can I. If Quill would carry me, and I know he would, Quill's my friend, you see. Your friend, Mr. Croak. Toodaloo! Okay. Swim. Jumping on Lily. Made it sink. Relaxing. Your strong legs. Dear Mr. Croak, if I were a toad today, I would swim. Have you always liked jumping on lily pads? Have you ever tried to jump on a lily pad and made it sink? Sometimes it must be relaxing to be a toad. Your friend, Sam. P.S. I think your strong legs make you beautiful. Dear Sam, I always have a good time jumping on lily pads. That's how I get from place to place. My strong legs are made for jumping. Right again, your friend, Mr. Croak. Toodaloo! Okay, walk. Got lost. Your address. Your do somersaults. P Dear Mr. Croak, I know you and Quill like to walk together. What do you think would happen if you both got lost? If you got lost, I hope that you'd remember your address. Your friend, Sam. P.S. Sometimes I like to do somersaults with a good friend. <laughs>
Dear Sam, if I were with my friend Quill, I know we'd be all right. Quill could fly in the sky and see if there was a good way to get home. I would stay low and see how to go. But remember, staying cool is the best thing to do if you get lost. Your friend, Mr. Croak. Adios. Okay, let's try to catch. Happy. You called you ugly. Scary monsters. Not fighting. Your the news. Dear Quill, your story made me feel happy. How did you feel when the animals called you ugly? You're not ugly. Scary monsters are ugly. I'm glad that you learned that not fighting is important. Your pal, Sam. P.S. You should tell your story to the news. Dear Sam, I would love to tell my story on the news. That way, almost everybody in the world would know about me. I would be excited to see myself on TV. Duck TV, here I come. Your friend, Quill. Toodaloo! Someone different. A movie star. Eat in fancy restaurants. <laughs> Lovable. Your tickle your toes. P. Dear Quill, sometimes it's fun to daydream about being someone different. Do you think it would be fun to be a movie star for a day? If you were a movie star, you would have to eat in fancy restaurants. Still, just being yourself makes you lovable. Your pal, Sam. P.S. If you ever feel sad, tickle your toes. Dear Sam, wow, being a movie star would be so much fun. I think the best part would be meeting lots of people and making friends. I hope I could travel to where you live. Maybe you could be in my next movie with me, your friend, Quill. Toodaloo! Grown Up An Astronaut Do you All the Way to Jupiter Beautiful Love, cry. P. Dear Quill, sometimes it's fun to daydream about being grown up. Do you think it would be fun to be an astronaut for a day? Maybe you could take a trip all the way to Jupiter. Still, just being yourself makes you beautiful. Love, Sam. P.S. If you ever feel sad, cry. <laughs> Dear Sam, I would love to travel in space like an astronaut. It would be fun to visit every planet and star. I wonder what other planets are like. Do you think that I might meet ducklings there? Maybe I could make some new friends. I hope you can come with me. Your friend, Quill. I'll be back. Okay, let's angry. You pecked at you. Bird seed. Sticking up for yourself. Since all the other animals. 
Dear Quill, your story made me feel angry. How did you feel when the animals pecked at you? The farmyard birds should have pecked at bird seed instead. I'm glad that you learned that sticking up for yourself is important. Sincerely, Sam. P.S. You should tell your story to all the other animals. <laughs> Dear Sam, if I tell all the other animals about what happened to me, then maybe they will understand why I was as lonely as I could be. I want the other animals to know that I don't feel lonely today. I learned that I am very special, and that's really what matters anyway. Your friend, Quill. I'll be back. Sorry for you. Made fun of you. Turn away. Having a good friend. See your pen pal. Dear Quill, your story made me feel sorry for you. How did you feel when the animals made fun of you? If someone made fun of me, I would turn away. I'm glad that you learned that having a good friend is important. Sincerely, Sam. P.S. You should tell your story to your pen pal. Dear Sam, I think your idea is wonderful. Pen pals are very special friends, and writing letters is so exciting. I hope my pen pal likes my story. I would love to hear about my pen pal's life, too. I hope my pen pal writes back. Write back soon, your friend, Quill. Adios. Okay, somewhere different. A toad. Do you sit on lily pads? Important. Your read a funny book. P. Dear Quill, sometimes it's fun to daydream about being somewhere different. Do you think it would be fun to be a toad for a day? If you were a toad, you could sit on lily pads. Still, just being yourself makes you important. Your friend, Sam. P.S. If you ever feel sad, read a funny book. <laughs> Dear Sam, my friend, Mr. Croak, tells me that toad life is great. If I were a toad, I could learn how to eat flies and how to croak. I would have fun hopping around as a toad. Would you like to be a toad with me? Hippity hop we go. Your friend, Quill. Adios. Okay, let's write to Quill. Okay, let's write again later. Click on one of these buttons to play an act. Okay! When you are ready, The Ugly Duckling. Click on the character you want to tell the story. Hi, I'm Mr. Croak. Let me tell you about the time I helped a poor little bird who everybody said was ugly. He wasn't really ugly. A smelly sock. Now that's ugly. Ribbit. Click here if you want me to read the story. I'll read the story. I think my egg has grown. Oh well. My name is Mr. Croak. And that's no joke. I'm a fine-looking toad, though I didn't always think so. Back when I was a tadpole, 
I thought I was ugly. Can you believe it? But this story isn't about me. It's about a friend of mine. I met him when he was still in a big egg. That's a beautiful egg. When's it going to hatch? I don't know. Now please let me get back to my work. He hatched into a beautiful duckling. How do I get out of this thing? I'm here! Ta-da! I was ready to hop along, croaking a song. But then, the duckling's brother and sister started being mean to him. You're sort of ugly, one said. I'm so happy to be with my family. Mommy, is he one of us? I think so. Want to play with me? Um, maybe later, but thanks anyway. Ugly? Squished peas are ugly. A duckling is not ugly. I think he's beautiful. Of course, he could use a few more warts. Like me. I decided to stick around. I thought the duckling might need a friend. Hush! Now let's go swimming. The duck family went swimming. Back when I was a tadpole, I loved to swim. Now that I'm a toad, I hop. Hey there! But I still know a good swimmer when I see one. I can swim! That duckling was a great swimmer. But his family just talked about how different he was. What's wrong with being different, I thought. The duck family went to the farmyard. The animals said mean things about my friend. All your ducks are so handsome. Do you really think so? Oh, but the big ugly one. They pecked at him. Ouch! Don't be mean. Be green. That's what I say. I didn't like the way those animals were acting. The duckling didn't like it either. I'm leaving, he said. I decided to go with him. I'm leaving. Hello, I'm Mr. Croak. Hi, my name is Quill. The duckling was very sad. No one likes me, he said. He told me his name was Quill. Don't be blue. I like you, I said. Don't let those animals make you feel bad. But everyone thinks I'm ugly, he cried. Ugly, I said. Rotten bananas are ugly. Ducklings are not ugly. So, where are you going? Any place where someone will play with me. Or someone will play with you. Just keep trying. 
Here's some friendly looking birds. I'll be back later. Quill and I saw two birds. Hit the road, Toad. I said to myself. I wanted Quill to make some new friends. How odd looking you are! Still, you seem nice. Come join us. You want to play with me? Come along with us! We're going to meet up with the rest of our friends and family. They won't be like you, but you're welcome to come. Great! I can hardly wait. Honk. But when the birds saw a hunting dog, they flew away. The dog <laughs> sniffed Quill. <laughs> Ugh, you're not the kind of bird I'm looking for, he said. Quill should have felt lucky, but he just felt sad. What luck! I bet you'll find someone to play with you in there. You can stay for a while, but only if you can lay eggs. Quill and I came to a hut. Welcome to our world. Your world? I... The animals there did neat tricks. The cat made sparks fly from his fur. The hen laid beautiful eggs. But those animals were mean to Quill. They told him he should lay eggs and make sparks too. The woman was nice to let me stay here. But I won't last long if I don't make myself useful. Be who you are and you'll be a star. That's what I say. Quill left to find a pond. I don't seem to belong here either. I'm leaving. What beautiful birds! I'll never be like them. <gasps> All that fall, Quill swam in the pond. Once, a group of swans flew overhead. What beautiful birds, cried Quill. He still thought he was ugly. Moldy prunes are ugly. Quill was not ugly. The weather grew cold. Don't catch a chill, Quill, I said. Then, I took a long nap. What am I going to do? It's getting so cold. When I woke up, the pond was frozen. I couldn't find Quill anywhere. Open your bill, Quill, I said. Just give me one little quack. Open your bill, Quill. Just give me one little quack. Hey, 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 you, you, I'm, I'm talking to you. Right there, I'm talking to you. Have you seen a duck around here? 
I didn't know that Quill was trapped in the ice until a farmer pulled him out. I'll take you home, he told Quill. I thought I would hop along to keep an eye on my friend. It's a duck. Where? I'll bring you home and warm you by the fire. Quill and the farmer went into the house. Hey, look who I found. A little ugly duckling. Wow, let's play with him. Oh no, now I have to milk the cow again? Oh no, not the butter. Goodbye and good luck. I heard people shouting, and I heard Quill honking. Was he in trouble? Mr. Croak to the rescue. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, anybody seen a duckling with big, sad eyes and gray feathers? I hopped into the house. I looked everywhere for Quill. All of a sudden, people started shouting at me. I'm no fool. I stayed cool, but I got out of there fast. In the spring, Quill swam in the pond again. One day, some swans came. Quill was afraid to meet them. I'm so odd looking. And they're so beautiful, he said. Looks aren't everything, I said. I learned that back when I was a tadpole. Go on, I said. I think they'll like you. Go on, <laughs> I think they'll like you. They look like you. Go over and say hello. No. I don't think so. Go out there. Boy, are you in for a big <laughs> surprise. I know I'm ugly, but please don't make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're ugly, then so are we. Quill was still worried. He was sure the swans would be mean to him. But they weren't mean at all. They liked him. Just look at yourself in the reflection of the water. I'm afraid to. I might scare myself. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here and be with us. No, you don't want me. Then, Quill saw himself for the first time. What a shock! He didn't see an ugly duckling. He saw a beautiful swan. <laughs> A swan! Quill was very happy. He had new friends. <laughs> <laughs> I never dreamed of so much happiness. Everyone talked about how beautiful he was. Wow, what a beautiful swan! Yeah! Being beautiful is fine. But being a friend is a lot more important. Quill knows that now. 
I'm not just a swan. I'm the happiest swan in the whole world. As I hopped off, I saw a prickly little caterpillar. I'm so ugly, he said sadly. Mr. Croak to the rescue. Goodbye, friend. And he lived happily ever after. The end. The end. Click on one of these buttons to play an activity. Okay! When you are ready to read, just click on one of the books. Do you want to stop playing? Let's read again soon.